not far from the site of congressional gridlock, just outside the Beltway, the Potomac River offers a convenient whitewater playground. For those in the know, the possibilities are endless. thinking of taking up a river sport, area outfitters can provide classes and equipment. That's a little longer. Brown teaches the fine art of cooperation, tandem whitewater canoeing. All right, big draw stroke in the bow, sweep in the stern, big draw. Give me a draw stroke, Chris, come on, dig in. Yes, good, yeah, turn that boat. We are on the Potomac River at a put-in point called Angler's End. This is kind of the standard put-in for all the people that live in the Washington area that like to come out after work on the weekends. What we've got behind us is a nice row of uh, ducklings who are learning to become whitewater paddlers. So now watch, when I lean backwards, I push forward on the top hand. Now this is, I want you to kind of uh, animate this a little bit because it will show to you how you can use your bodies. If you use just your arms in paddling, you're gonna get very, very tired. Aimed at canoeists with little or no whitewater experience, the day-long classes start out on flat water and move progressively into faster water and stronger current. I'm going to start out teaching the bow several canoe strokes. I'd like the bow people to, to come across the hull. I right, start on the normal, getting ready to do any kind of paddling stroke attitude. Reach across the canoe in the bow. Now, make a circle toward the canoe. And we'll be doing some funny skills and drills like spinning the canoe in a circle around its center of rotation clockwise and counterclockwise because I want you to get some mental memory and muscle memory so you can understand and set the canoe up so it will flow with the energy of the river. Draw right, draw right, look over here in the stern, look where you want to go. Okay, sweep in the stern a little bit, looking good, very good. Doing pretty good on your first shot. Fantastic. Okay, let's ferry back. The water's pulling against you instead of you pulling against the water. Looking good, yes. Drop the water out and paddle back up. Okay, big draw, Struggle. Oh, let's went over. There they go. What we try to do is to teach two people how to communicate between the bow and the stern. It may seem like an odd thing to say, but uh, people in general need to learn how to work together, and that's a lot more important than a lot of fancy paddling stuff. After spending the morning going through the basics, it's on downstream for the first attempt at running a rapid. You want to go down the center of the first V and then line up and go through the second V. Use that indicator somewhere in the center between the end of the ledge and the big rock is where you want to start. All right, here they come. Almost in the V. All right, boom. Paddle, paddle, don't hold on. Paddle, paddle. As the day draws to a close, the paddlers get to find out for themselves just how much they've learned or still have to learn. In a 
tandem canoe, there's a bit more to whitewater paddling than just dealing with what the river throws at you. Getting through a rapid is an exercise in cooperation with a single goal in mind, a skill well worth learning. Hi, this is David Brown at Canoeing Adventures. We'd like to invite you and your friends to come out for a full day of fun and excitement on the nearby Potomac River. 